Hi, my name is Lauren Kikwedewe. My spirit name is Tade Dopa Naji. It translates to the one who stands in the four directions. I live as an artist and I'm a co-founder of Buffalo People Arts Institute. We're partners in this project with Commonweal and NCCI at the First Nations University of Canada. I, um, I've been scraping Buffalo Heights for about five years now, going on five years. And my interest in, in that is, is uh, more of a spiritual healing interest. I, I got interested to, to learn who I am, where I come from, and what I'm all about. I grew up as an, an, an urban um, indigenous person. Um, attended ceremonies the past few years, 20 or so actually, and, and uh, walking this, this red road, as many say, has been has been um, quite the journey. Bone tool. It's a buffalo bone. Um, I've already cut it at the 45 degree angle. I'm gonna scrape out the marrow. I <laughs> got my drill bit. Got the drill. Got my mask. Got my leather glove. So basically, what's coming next is gonna drill a hole in here. Already got a cut out piece of leather. Stuck the leather through, and basically make a handle. It'll end up looking like this except with the leather handle. So what I'm doing is just um, the bone tools that we made the other day, a couple of them, even though you probably can't tell, they, they need to be sharpened up a bit. So once you have the grooves cut in um, using the hacksaw, what I'm doing is just using the, this triangle file. And again, because we're in the open air, there's not so much dust with the, with the file. It's just filing additional deeper grooves into the end of the bone. And much like a knife, you feel, it's by feel. Once you have it touched, just go over the edge. You can, if you were to, to feel this, it, it's, it's sharp enough to, to cut into the flesh. And you just have a, I don't know what the best angle is to, to see that. But they look like teeth bone teeth so this one's is good to go and this other one there's some the edging's been been off and you'll find that you're, you're gonna frequently have to sharpen sharpen the tools because they even though the the flesh seems soft and and um, you know kind of fatty it's still it's still durable you know these animals um, had to live through harsh winters, so they're designed for for harsh circumstances. And you know, even though the the animal isn't alive anymore, the spirit still lives. And uh, you know, the resilience in that animal comes through in, in these ways. You know, our tools that we use to um, to process them this way, um, you know, still still need um, maintenance and. Uh, this is their way of, of teaching us, you know, so it's not an easy thing to do to, uh, to scrape this hide. And my son here and my nephew helping us out there, they're finding that out. They're young and able-bodied young men, but they're, they're getting tired. And a sharp tool always helps with the... Uh, the work so by the time I'm done sharpening here that'll be their break and then they'll get back on the hide so again you can see how the the triangled edges so hopefully they go faster now that they have sharp tools <laughs> 